stuff isn't gonna go viral if you can't hold people's attention. That's the power of anticipation. When your target customers can't stop thinking about you. It's hard to believe. 30 years ago, the idea that anyone could share their message to millions of people in just a day or two, it was unheard of. To me, the internet is more than a place to read the news each morning or catch up on photos from my friends. For me, the internet is a place of hope. I woke up one morning to thousands of emails and my phone was ringing off the hook. My study had gone viral. So I started to study why things go viral. Surely it can't be a function of randomness, I thought. I wanted to uncover why things go viral and the secrets to building a strong brand. Sure, these examples are gonna get a lot of attention because they're shocking, but creating controversy is very different to creating something that has the potential to go viral. You wanna build a brand that people trust and respect. That'll win you the game in the end. You can't make something go viral after the fact. It doesn't work that way. It's better to drop the viewer into the scene right away, almost like dropping them into the middle of a conversation or a crime in progress. Incorporating emotions into marketing content is half the story. We need to make sure those emotions are sufficiently transferred from the movie to the viewer. A black car of bad guys screeches to a halt and begins a gunfight and a woman rides past on a motorcycle wearing lingerie. This class is about why things go viral. You'll learn the science behind why people behave the way they do when sharing information. Why are people attracted to some information and not others? What makes people spread good things about you? And maybe above all, how to get noticed online. I'm Brent Coker, and this is Virology, the science of spreading your message wide and far.